journalist, sports, sports, sports pundit for that matter. I'm also a, a secondary school teacher. I actually teach biology and integrated science. I am the last of my siblings. My mother actually gave birth to eight children and I happen to be the last one. And I'm also a married man. So basically that is about me. Actually, I attended two secondary schools. The first was Chinua Kudia Senior Secondary School, but I, I didn't complete. I left after the first year to Kumasi uh, Supercars, Kumasi American Senior High School. So basically, that is where I completed my senior high school, uh, Kumasi American to be precise. I'm a disciple actually. I completed Kumasi American Senior High School, actually my senior secondary school. The year 1996 i was too young then actually i completed senior secondary school when i was i was 17 years old so way back in 1996 i was a senior high school graduate when when i completed jss uh, i had aggregate aggregate nine my first choice my first choice was opokuwari and i actually wanted to do science science is what i've done all my life I wanted to do science at Opokuwari. But back then, they told, I was told my, my, my grades at grade 9 would not be admitted into a science class at Opokuwari Senior High School. So actually, I got admission at Opokuwari to do a Greek instead of science. Get free music so on actually, I wanted to go to the Opokuwari and do the a Greek, but my uncles, my parents were so much persuasive that I should rather concentrate on doing science instead of a Greek. So I was home waiting for where I'll be I'll get admission. And one day my uncle came home and told me that he has gotten admission for me at Chinebua Kobia Senior High School to go and do science. Uh, you could not imagine the level of excitement that I I, I I received the news with. Because I had I had sat home, all my colleagues had gone to school. Others were sending me messages how they were being treated in senior secondary schools. And I was, I was home waiting to get my admission. So when finally I got the admission on it, indicated that I was, going, I was going to do science, I was so, so much excited. So I got to, I got to Chilibua Kodia Secondary School and because of ill health, in fact, I got sick for, for close to a whole day. And my parents, through some connections, got admission for me at uh, Kumasi Alkan Senior Secondary School. So after the first year, I, 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 need, I needed to switch schools from Chiruba uh, Kodia Senior Secondary School to Kumasi Alkan Senior Secondary School. So basically the reason why I left Chiruba Kodia Senior High School was, was based on health conditions. I was actually falling sick quite frequent, frequently. And being the last born of my mother, she was always complaining, she was always having issues as to why I was falling sick that frequently. So we got admission for me from Chibuwa Kodia Secondary School to Kumasi and the Senior High School. I was so smallish back then, so, so smallish. <laughs> uh, even though I was among the brilliant students, but to go for a position, be it senior school prefect, compound of the SIA, dining hall prefect, because of my size in nature, I was so smallish, and back then I was I was one of the. Even now, sometimes I, I, I am a bit shy. So back then, being shy, being smallish, I never I never opted myself out to go for any any position. I think it was once a time in my class that I acted as. Uh, class prefect when the actual class prefect actually got sick and couldn't come to school for a while so i was acting as a, as, 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 as a class captain so apart from being an acting class captain for just a short period i never held any position at the senior secondary school i was a shy type and i was too smallish to go and contest for any, any position back then at the senior high school uh, my first trouble in school <laughs> Well, there was this 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 senior that never had a visitor back in school. I was in SHS two. He was in 
final year, SHS 3. Throughout his three years stay at the senior secondary school, he never had any visitor. But I came to, to Kumasi American Senior High School, and it's like every two weeks I was getting a visitor. So one day my, my senior sister visited me on campus, brought me food, and I think the senior, that, that senior got offended that why was I being visited as frequently as, as, as that? When he, as big as he was, as famous as he was, and as senior as he was, never had a single visitor back in senior secondary school. So he got angry, and the kind of treatment he gave me on that day. Actually, even every single gift my sister brought to me on that day, it was a gift for him. He took everything from me, and since then, I became his enemy. Why was I being visited as frequent as possible? When he, through no fault of mine, he was not getting any visitor. And that became uh, the bone of contention. In fact, since then, I became his number one enemy. It's like, okay, you are the dada B. You are always getting visited. Your brothers are coming here. Your sisters are coming here. Your mother is coming here quite often. Why are you being treated like, like a dada B? And being, having, having that le level of treatment from my, from my, from my parents, from my family, just, just got him annoyed. For reason I did not understand that somebody getting a visitor should offend somebody for him to get that, 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 that angry. You could, you could see from his facial expression that <laughs> uh, that was my first trouble. And it, it remained like that until he left. Until he left the school, I was his enemy. Wow, wow. I completed senior secondary school back way back in 1996. Even, even then, I could not, I could not, I could not, I could not sing it on my own. How much more having completed close to more than 20 years back then? Honestly speaking, I cannot, I can't even remember, remember, remember the cast and ten back then. But uh, if you ask me, it's one of the best schools I've ever attended. Notorious senior. <laughs> no one will ever want to have the kind of compound of a seer we had back in Kumasi Anglican. Call him. Uh, was it was it Budo or something? He will come to you and tell you this is a form two list. This this paper I am holding contain a form two list of students who did an assignment, but none of the form two student names is on the list. Can you imagine a form two list with no form two student on the list? And by that. Every Form 2 student will be punished. In fact, he will give you an assignment to do, and, and sometimes, in, in, in as much as I will not endorse what he was doing to us back then, but he shaped us. He will give you an assignment to do, you have to do it up to, up to more than 100% perfection. When you do not achieve that, you are not sleeping, you are not eating, you are not doing anything at the dormitory. And the way you, you in fact, you, you soak his, his punch in in a, in in a bucket of water and make it quite soggy. And that sponge, the way you use that sponge to lash you, you regret ever stepping your your your, your, your feet at the campus of Kumasi Anakan Senior High School. And eventually he could not complete senior high school. He was eventually he was he was sacked because of the way he was molesting students. It became more more like harassment. The moment you see him, you see fear. And is one senior I will not recommend any student to meet throughout your life at any senior high school. He was molesting student. The last thing that actually got him dismissed is that he had his calculator. The calculator got mixing, and every 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 junior was was made to pay part of the calculator that that actually got missing during his days at the senior high school. And one student actually complained, complained to the headmaster. Uh, the Kumasi American Senior High School headmaster back then was Kuntunchi. So Kuntunchi got, got, got info, info, this information, came back to the dormitory, did a bit of inquiries. We told, we told Kuntunchi the level of treatment he has gotten us into throughout his stay as our senior. And eventually Kuntunchi dismissed him from, from, from the school entirely. And the moment he was dismissed, it was quite a huge relief to almost every student back then. 
because he was he was was a pain in our neck and throughout our career is something is something throughout every school we have got we have gone to afterwards he's somebody i would never recommend any student to meet because once you meet him you are meeting fear the three schools obviously i will not go without mentioning my own school kumasi alcan senior high school uh, it taught us a lot being it be kumasi alcan senior high school is more like uh, a mission school being affiliated to the Anglican, Anglican, Anglican Church. So whilst you are doing the academic work, it shapes you in your spiritual life. And the academic work at Kumasi Anglican Senior High School was back then one of the best schools in Kumasi, if not in Ghana, as a whole. Uh, one school I, have, I had always wanted to go was Opokuwari Senior High School. I had always wanted to be at that school, but because of my grade and the course I wanted to do, I get nine, was not admitted to do science back then. That is why I did not go to Opokurai. So if you ask me to list the three best schools in Ghana, Kumasi Alekan obviously be one of them, Opokurai will be one of them, and Prempe College. These are my three best schools. Basically, I have stayed all my life in Ashanti region. And sometimes when you are asked to stay something that is best, proximity, Will actually influence your choices and being born bred raised in Ashanti region my choice will be will be will be biased towards towards proximity and that is why I'm going for three schools in Ashanti region Kumasi Anglican, Opukuare and then Prempe Kalim. Three girls schools in Ghana obviously Ula Secondary School is one of them I've heard of it I've never been there before but when when you read and you listen to what they've been able to attain throughout their, their stay in Ghana Education Service is one of the best schools. I would recommend to every girl who want to be who want to who want to go to girls' school. Uh, Saint Monica's Saint Monica's has been in the in the in the in the system for far too long, and they are still very 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 relevant. Back then, when we were in secondary school, uh, most of my schoolmates, most of my GSS schoolmates actually wanted to go to uh, St. Monica Senior High School. Most of them actually went to St. Monica Senior High School. A combined academic work works with, with athletics. So when we, we go to Intaco, whilst the, 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 the Kumasi Alekan, the, the, the TIMRs, the Prempe College were, were, were competing for, for, the, for, the, for the boys' event, you see St. Monica also competing for, for the girls' event. And a one school that combines both academic and athletic co uh, together, and it stands out to be one of the best girls schools in this in this country. And maybe Saint Louis, Saint Louis, I'll ask Saint Louis, Saint Monica's, and Ola Senior High School. The smallest back then, I was I was too shy to even talk to some of my own my own boys, some of my own May 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 colleagues. Talk less of even approaching a woman back then uh, because of my size, too smallish, short. My focus was on academics, and I did not even know anything about love back then. It was it was all school, all school, all school. Uh, so being confronting any lady, having a crush on any lady back in senior secondary school was not was not something I was thinking of. It was not part of me. Maybe I was too young to, to understand what those things meant back then. But at the secondary school, that is why that, that part of my life began to show up. But back in secondary school, na 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 na. Even at back then, Kumasi Anglican Secondary School was basically more like a instant the science class. We were about more than bare 40 back then in class, but we had only two girls. So the girls were not many, just some few girls that would go that would go to the various various homes after after school so basically Kumasi and Lekan were, were, were more like a boys school and you would not have any lady to confront or talk to after school and during classes hours the seriousness that that attacked to classes back then in senior secondary school we dare not we dare not approach you when guests back then and I did not have that kind of lifestyle back in secondary school it was book 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 and book never never but I remember I was only saved by, by, by maybe by circumstances. Uh, sometimes something that draws students out of their normal life is, is peer pressure. I remember very well back then there was this, there was this,
Soloku was big then, big back then. That was when Soloku was becoming gradually becoming big, 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 big. So I remember one time some of my my roommates were going out. There was there was a funeral at Tanoso. Can you imagine from Kumasanekan Amakum to Tanoso? So they were running away to Tanoso to 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 go and dance to that Soloku music. They were actually running out, running away from campus to to Tanoso. That was in our final year that we were going. They were going to Tanoso to go and have that fun. And peer pressure draw me with them and we all escaped from from campus to town or so i went there sat there they danced i did not dance some of them that knew how to drink drank i did not drink and we actually returned to school very 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 late on our return the school gate was locked the the watchmen were not at the gate that to even open it open it for us to even enter so we needed to jump the school wall. And fate will have it. The moment we jumped and entered the school campus, the headmaster was standing right there. He was standing there. Unfortunately for, for him and fortunately for us, he did not see our faces. So we needed to jump back. And throughout that night, we were just hovering around the school wall, not knowing when to jump in or jump out. The headmaster eventually conducted a roll call back then to see students who were out of campus back then. And it did not narrow it to us alone because there were so many of so many students who were out of campus back then without exit. So that 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 that, that roll call did not narrow it to the three of us alone. So that is what saved us. So eventually every student that was not on campus back then were punished. We were the cause. But it did not narrow it down to us. Since then, since then, I never for once did that thing again throughout my stay here back in school back then. Well, sometimes when age, age will give you what we call perspective. Back then, we will call that tutor as being wicked. But after secondary school, you grow up, you realize that it was not actually wicked, but it was actually putting you on your toes. Uh, there was this biology teacher. Mr. Adichima. We, my, I, my case, I was seeing, seeing him as being very, very wicked. But after school, when we sat down, we reflected on what he was doing to us. He was actually not being wicked, but putting us on our toes and preparing us for this unknown teacher. So, Mr. Adichima will not allow you to enter his class when you are late. These days, that has shaped us. We don't, we don't come to work late. Mr. Dujima will not see you walk down the street on the campus with your shirt not tucked in. He will punish you. You don't come to the dining hall late. He will punish you. And the last thing that 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 that, that, will, that, will, that will more like raise his adrenaline. It's when you refuse to do his assignment and class exercises. My brother, you are dead. You are dead. The teachers that were being lenient back then, those that probably did not care that much, whether you have done your exercises, whatever you do, it doesn't matter to them, were actually our enemies back then. The likes of Mr. Dujima and other teachers that were very strict to us, actually saved us and shaped us for this for this unknown future. And when you come back into this world, you realize that those teachers were actually preparing you for the work ahead of you. Nickname, nickname I, was, I, I, was, I was a fan of football then. That is why it actually influenced my work after school. That's why I'm a, I'm a sports journalist. So back in secondary school, I followed one footballer for Roberto Carlos, who was playing for Real Madrid back then. So my love for him, so my students actually used to call me Carlos, 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 Carlos because of my love for, for Roberto Carlos. So that's the only nickname. It, actually, it, it was not even a, a nickname. Anytime we were playing football and I pull up a chef to play any game, they would call me Roberto Carlos, Roberto Carlos because of my love for that, that professional footballer, Roberto Carlos. And since then, no one has ever even referred to me like that name. 
uh, throughout my life, I have always been referred to by my actual name, apart from being referred to Carlos when I was playing football back in secondary school. Uh, the, the funniest nick, nickname I've ever had was Intensity. Not because he, he, the girl liked it, because my, the, we know secondary school how we like to tease students. The student was not actually beautiful in the context of beauty back then. So my colleague just, just, just saw this girl classify her as ugly, and being ugly, they nicknamed that girl as intensity. And one thing I've been, I've I, I, I began to, to like the attitude of the girl. When you watch when you watch you watch Game of Thrones, there's this guy called Tyron Lannister. He said in the movie that when you are given a name that you do not like, just make the name your own. Appreciate it. And the people that want to use that name to hurt you cannot hurt you with that name again. Back then, that girl, even though it was more like a mockery to that girl, she accepted the name made it her own and it did not become a mockery again it actually became her nickname intensely you call her intensely and she will respond my master results back then you could not cumulate it as it is done now but subject by subject it was not a1 and this, that that that's where you, you are having now it was whether you have a b c d e and then f so it was not done cumulatively as it's done now. So you check out, but I can give you every single, every single resource from every single subject back then at senior secondary school. But cumulatively, as you want me to cumulate, no, I cannot, I cannot remember vividly back then. But I remember very well, I had, I had, I had, back then, agricultural science was core subject. I had A1, A in agricultural science. P was a core subject back then. I had A1. Biology, I did, I did elective science. By elective science back then, I did biology, physics, and chemistry. I got B in, in biology, I got C in physics, and I got C in chemistry. I got A, A in integrated science. I got life skills was also a core subject back then. I got B in, in life skills. And what other course subject can I remember? And I think that is that is it. Life skills, agricultural science was core back then. P was core back then. My three elective: chemistry, physics, and biology. And, and, and commerce, 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 commerce. I have I had B. I did not do elective science. Elective science was optional back then when you were doing science. It's either you do core math, you do elective math, or you do biology. So I did biology instead of core math. So core math, core math to me, I had B. So that's what I can easily recollect. The most interesting copies that I don't know whether it is interesting or not, but when you see, when you are writing an examination and you see a girl sitting beside you who has written a pop, what you used to call a pop, on her lap, then while the examination is ongoing, you see her flip her shirt upwards. Sometimes, maybe because of the examination pressure, they don't even feel shy to, for you to see what they are even wearing underneath. And you see girls pulling up their shirt up to this top and you see them seriously copying from from their lap the moment they see the examiner coming they just roll it down and unfortunately for them no examiner can ask them to roll the shirt top to become more like sexual harassment you are molesting the students sexually so it was the advantage and they will see you they will see you that they, they will know that you have seen them copying but they simply do not give a damn about you once they know they are copying to pass they don't give a damn about who you are and you see them and others will also copy on their handkerchiefs and i saw one student also copy uh, you see this 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 lay in our shirt they cut behind it and create a hole they put their paw inside and they sit gently sometimes the people you don't expect them to be writing a paw are the people that actually write a paw gently nice composed 
but those are the people that have the, the ambitions. My squad, Kumasa Anglican Secondary School back then was more like a school that, that is situated from Asante Mambo. Because most of the students there were from my hometown, Asante Mambo. So we used to have a clique, people from Asante Mambo. But those I can easily remember, I have one guy called Akua. Akua is now a teacher, a secondary school teacher. He was always, we were, we were always close. Then there's one, one guy called Budo, not the Budo who was my senior molesting us, but another, another of my colleagues, my, my classmate, took his name, known and referred to as Budo. We were always close, we were eating together, we were going to prep together. Once you are, once one go to prep and you are not there, you leave our books there, come and look for you, and drag you to prep. You, you must all go and learn. And when we decide to have fun, singing, dancing, uh, jama, we we'll do it together. When we are supposed to learn, we don't leave anyone behind. We learn together, we do everything together, and basically we sleep together. The secret in school, <laughs> ah, uh, Kumasa and Lekan, we had we had this park called Red Park. That was our school park. There was there was there was it was a bit bushy. There was some bush at the back, just just close to KTI. That that end there, there were bamboos and some trees over there. I I I I, I used to see some of my my mate going through that bush every now and then, but it never clicked to my mind what they were going to do there. So one 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 night, I also decided to follow them. I went there and it was something, even I kept it to myself. If I had reported what I had seen there to school authorities, those that I saw would have been dismissed. Some of them were smoking and some were actually betting, chacha. From this part to me, chacha, betting with money. And it's something that I never told anybody, I never told the headmaster, I never told the senior house master, I never even told my my other colleagues that I saw them. But they saw me, I saw them, I sat in the in, in their midst. They finished everything, we all went together. And if anybody had approached us and saw us, they would have even said I was among that 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 clique. And since then, in fact, it's something I saw that I have kept all my life without telling any, anybody. I was, I was, I was, I was a fan of my physics master, so I was very close to him because of the way I like physics, because of the way I, 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 I comported myself back in school. He, he used to like me that much. Every secret I had back in school, I would, I would go and tell him. But this one, I never told anybody back then. And it has remained a secret until you ask him to reveal it. I've just revealed it now for the first time. On Wednesday, 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 what could be it? Wednesday. My Wednesday in school is when I had information that my father had died. I was actually second, second term form one. That was in Chungwa Kudia Secondary School back then. I was in school, we had, we had finished our dining, just preparing to go to, to, to prep. And I was informed that my father had passed on. Uh, I was young to understand what death meant back then, what the meaning of death. But I don't know what engulfed me back then. I was so, 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 so sad. And when I saw the expression on the face of my mother who had come to school to pick me back home, and the information, how they narrated the information to me, it was, it was quite, 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 quite an occasion. My happiest day was SS1, first term, examination English. We were asked to write a story that ends, and I realized it was a dream. I still remember that very story very well. I wrote my, my, my essay, submitted it, and when we school reopened the following term, my English master called me to the staff common room and asked me to write this that same story again. Apparently, he was thinking that I wrote it in a book because the content, the sentence construction, 
and everything that contained in that my my essay was beyond my age was beyond my class was beyond the, the level that i was back then so he was thinking that i wrote the the, the, the exams with an apple so to ascertain whether it was true or not to ascertain whether i wrote it myself or not then he decided to ask me to repeat it again so he gave me a sheet and i wrote everything again as exactly as i would during the end of term examination she read it and called me in front of all my mates and they gave me a round of applause and the, the, the english tutor back then told the student that throughout his career as a tutor english tutor no one has written an essay be it a form one student form two student form three student with that level of context and maturity and sentence construction as I did. And he, he was so, so happy for me. And the, 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 say from, from back then, I was seen by my mate as, as someone who is shabri, as they used to call. Because the level of the English I wrote back then was too much for even the English, the English teacher then. And that was my happiest day. To be called in front of your own colleagues and the narrative, the accolade the tutor gave me, uh, I was I was I was extremely extremely, extremely happy back then. So Anglican back then we used to have what we call red red, red red year. What we call acquire actually any beans. No one missed it. No one. In fact, you don't you don't miss it. And if you don't know, na. Back then, you guys yeah, we will be no near the media. That person can fight you to death. To date, in fact, after we left the school, it was it was they stopped serving that, that that food because it was becoming too expensive to serve that food. Fried plantain, ripe plantain, with with bean stew. Back then, it was served on Friday Fridays as lunch. And it was the best meal back then in senior secondary school. If there was a meal I never missed when I was in school, it was that meal. I would never miss it for anything. Even when it was going classes time, and the teacher was teaching when we were supposed to go and eat that bread bread, we would snub the teacher and go for our red bread. It was the best meal back then in the senior secondary school. Well, if you want to, if you want, these days going to secondary school has become mandatory. It is not as expensive as our time, where our parents will have to, to run around to get school fees to pay for us. These days, you only need a good result to go to a senior secondary school. And I recommend everybody that the minimum level of your education should be a senior secondary school. At least, you should have a senior secondary school certificate. That is where you meet most of your mates that will become your lifetime friends. That is where you shape your life. And if there is any opportunity for you to go to secondary school, don't ever miss it. Because it shapes your life and prepares you for the future that lies ahead of you. But for secondary school and for education, I might not be at where I am now. It is a legacy left to me by my parents that no one can ever take it away from me. And if you ever, if you want to go to any senior secondary school, any senior secondary school, I will recommend the best for you. Kumasi Anglican, these days we have the grade A schools. Any of them that you can get admission into, just go, do your best. And these days, even the school that you go do not actually matter. What matters is your attitude and the effort you put into your education. I have seen students that have gone to the so-called A schools and failing. And I have seen students that have gone to the, the lowest grade of schools and actually excelling. It is not just about the school that you go. It is about your own output and attitude towards your own education. So wherever you find yourself, wherever you go these days, good tutors are spread all over this country. It does not matter where you go. You could go to a school in, in, in whatever the remotest part of this country. 
as long as you put in your effort and the same attitude that you put if you had gone to any other school you come out with flying colors it doesn't matter where you go what actually matters is your own effort and your own attitude towards your education